Greetings, welcome to another day of Auto Forge development. Today I have a special episode for you. Jason and the case of the failing Linux Lua Expose build. Uh, so, yeah, yesterday, you know, I was just trying to get what we have been working on pushed to or merged into the master branch. And was running into an issue. So it'd been like a week or something like that, that I've been working on getting all this hot reloading and other Teal Lua script stuff together. And then I finally made a PR and then the build failed. And I opened it up and I looked at it and I saw that it was saying that it can't find this Lua user type header file. I was like, hmm, I think that's actually because the Lua Expose is failing. And this is specifically on the Linux build. And yeah, the, the Windows is passing perfectly fine. And so I look at it and I see that it says that it's it's having this problem with this like namespace thing and I my mind immediately jumped to well wait I did change some stuff in this like generate namespace function maybe I, I messed that up and I go and I quickly like try to change it and then I realized that it was actually parse namespace, not generate namespace. I was like, okay, maybe it's not that. Maybe it's a little too late to be trying to solve this. It was like at 8.30 at night. And so then I, I start working on it the next morning and I think, well, you know, I probably should just try to debug this myself. So I pull down um, VirtualBox and download uh, Ubuntu 18.04 LTS and just, you know, trying to get this virtual machine set up so I can actually start debugging this. I pull down um, uh, VS Code and the .NET Core and trying to get this development uh, VM set up. And then I like head um, right into an issue where I just can't get the build to work like something is failing I don't know what it is and I kind of just like you know after an hour and a half two hours of trying to set everything up just decide you know what I'm going to wait talk to Andrew my dev partner who is the like Linux guy on the team and to see what you know he thinks might be the problem maybe he can help me out right and so after a few hours, he finally wakes up <laughs> and I'm like, hey, like, what do you think is going on here? And he's like, hmm, well, let's take a look. And we like start poking at things. And uh, he's like, okay, well, maybe this is the problem. Maybe that's the problem. We're starting to dig into it. And he's like, okay, let's try that. And pushes it, still fails. And we're like, okay, same issue, basically. We're like, okay, there's something fundamentally going wrong here. Um, you know, on his machine, it's working perfectly fine. And then we start looking at it more. And he, he mentions, he's like, you know, recently, like two days ago, they updated Kling to be 11.1.0. And he's like, I do pass in the version number of Kling to the Lua Expose, and Lua Expose, which I probably should have mentioned earlier, is our tool to generate um, CPP files that we build with our engine to expose our um, C++ classes to Lua with soul binding. And like I pass in that version, you know, so we can actually um, generate a AST tree and everything. And 
or AST. And then he's like, they just updated it to 11.1.0 and we're passing in 11.0.1. I'm like, okay, well, we can try that. Update it to 11.1.0 oh, as a, the argument to Lua Expose, and it works. <laughs> I'm like, great. That was a good use of four hours trying to figure out what's going on. This, uh, So this is, you know, for uh, workflow in um, GitHub. I just updated. And so that is what game development is like. Case closed. Solved it. Unfortunately, that actually took up a large part of my day. And I did do some planning for what we're going to do uh, next. And I will cover that in tomorrow's episode. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow.